Hey, welcome back! And today I will be making Meg McCaffrey from the Trials of Apollo. Meg is a young demigod, so I'm using Ever After High Little Sister body type Madeline Hatter as a base. I'm going to switch this head for an unsmiling Maddie head, and I also switched her gloved hands for Cerise Hood's hands. Using a pair of sharp scissors, I cut up her hair close to the scalp. I didn't show this cleaning up part for the other dolls because they were pre-prepared. Using pliers or a stick, I scrape off the hair from the inside and then using some tweezers, I pull out the rest of the hair. Using some 100% acetone, I wipe off the factory paint. I wash the head with soap to get rid of extra acetone. I tried to remove the head by soaking it in hot water. I was tugging too hard and the neck pick snapped. I tried to fix this by tying a rubber band and pouring boiling water on it. Hope that worked. I didn't film the hair making this time. If you want to see how to do it, it's in my Piper video. After masking off the hair, I sprayed Mr. Super Clear in a ventilated area. I sketched the face with a light caramel brown color. Then I filled in the color.
No, I don't really think this face is working for Maddie's mold, so... I made the eyes smaller and more realistic. Now she kind of looked like Amanda Stenberg. In the middle of the face up, the neck peg popped out. So I glued it down with some AB epoxy glue. I inserted a wooden dowel into the neck to secure the neck peg. For one of her accessories, I wanted to make her a hat that is inspired from Raya and the Last Dragon. I made a mold of her head using fabric and glue. Then I'm using air dried clay to make the dome of the hat. I'm painting it gold to match the swords that I will make later. So I'm actually making her an Asian or Vietnamese straw kono hat that is worn by farmers to block the sun. 
So Meg won't get sunburned when she's out in, in, the, in the sun. Yes. It kind of looked like a metal mushroom hat, which looks weird, but like, take that as you will. I just want to make a mushroom hat, so... So I wanted to make little tiny flowers for her hat, and this is how I did it. I colored a piece of paper with marker. Then I take a little piece of paper and crumble it up to make little pieces of flower. I imagined vines growing from her hat, so I'm just making those vines with a light brown yarn. The leaves are real fake plant leaves that I cut in leaf shape. I'm just using Elmer's glue all hot glue and a lot of patience to glue it all together. This is how the hat turned out. Despite all my efforts. So apparently glue and dowels are not enough. After watching some YouTube videos, I decided to use AB epoxy. I squeezed some hot glue into the head and inserted a armature wire. Then I sculpted the epoxy on it to try to form a ball joint shape. and I also blushed the body. After I squeezed the head on it, it seemed stable, but it can only move sideways and not up and down. I casted a mold of Gullius glasses and made a copy with epoxy to make Meg's rhinestone glasses. I also added a dab of epoxy on the side to visually enlarge the glasses. And then it cracked. 
I tried again with the epoxy glue. I painted the glasses black. But then the glasses cracked in the middle and I just decided to make another mold of it and cast another pair of glasses. This is how the mold turned out. I tried with a lot of materials to cast the glasses, first with hot glue and then with air dry clay, but they all turned out very bendy and unstructured. But then I think I forgot to film this part, but I cast it with resin and it seemed a lot better and very solid. The cracking glasses actually gave me an idea to give her tape for her glasses. On to the clothes. I designed an outfit for Meg that includes all of her colors like yellow, red, pink, white, green, and gold. And now I'm making her yellow leggings. Then I made her cute pink overalls. And a green shirt with puffy sleeves. This is a scary vision of how it looks together. Now for her classic red high tops. I don't really know whose shoes these are, but they are perfect. That's how the shoes turn out and I love them so much. On to her weapons. For the swords, I sharpened two popsicle sticks and then glued them together with other pieces of popsicle sticks. I really like this natural gold of this nail polish instead of my acrylic paint, so I'm going to use that for the swords. And now we're done. This is probably the most excessive doll I've made yet. I really love how she turned out and I hope you do too. If you do, please give this video a like and support my channel. Thanks for watching, and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!